I have been suffering with lower back issues since I was in my early 30s. Um, I lived in a different state and that time I visited with um, several orthopedic specialists, um, all of which said or concurred I had degenerative disc disease in my 30s. I saw Dr. Cubbage about 10 years ago um, and he's a very conservative doctor which I really appreciated. I don't think I was at the point to uh, undergo surgery at the time. So um, I, he gave me physical therapy and I had an injection in my back which helped for years. And then about probably um, six months prior to the surgery, I started really suffering terribly. So I came back to Dr. Cabbage for a second opinion, ironically, and he looked at the MRIs that I provided from the previous doctor and took some more x-rays and suggested that we fuse L4 and 5, which would save me possible, possibly another surgery down the road. Everyone here was phenomenal. In fact, I sent cookies to the hospital as well as to the office, which I've never done before. <laughs> I was very pleased, very pleased. My post-op was unimaginable. I was very, very thrilled at how quickly I could walk. I was even thrilled at how far I could walk in such a short amount of time. I really had planned for months of, you know, bed rest and um, sitting around the house, but after two weeks, I was pretty much back to normal with a few limitations. Three days after the surgery, I was home in my own environment. I was using a walker to get around, and amazingly, I noticed that the pain that radiated down the back of my leg into my ankle was gone. In the mornings, I used to wake up prior to the surgery and feel like someone took a two by four or a bat and just beat my lower back. I didn't feel that pain anymore. It was just surgical pain. So I would strongly recommend anybody contemplating it, not to be as scared as I was, not to put it off, and to go ahead and have the surgery and of course with Dr. Cubbage. Dr. Cubbage was to me, very knowledgeable of the pain I was experiencing, and I told him, which was really kind of funny, you really know that I'm suffering, right? <laughs> because sometimes people think, oh yeah, you're, you're really suffering, but they have no concept of the pain that you're really experiencing. And he confirmed that. He said, oh yeah, you are suffering. And that's mainly why I agreed to do the surgery, because he agreed that I wasn't just making this up. <laughs> I had a friend of mine who had a, a friend of theirs who had experienced um, Dr. Kepch's care and highly recommended him. So I decided to go with her opinion since she is a nurse and I value her opinion greatly. As I said, I saw Dr. Kepch about 10 years ago and he just said, you know, we're going to avoid surgery at all costs. Um, I was then in my 40s, which I appreciated because I was very active and on the go quite a bit and still teaching school, which requires standing on your feet all day. So he pretty much um, recommended physical therapy and the injection, which did help for many years until um, the diagnosis, which he um, stated I had spinal stenosis, I had degenerative disc disease, and also had sciatic, so it was time. Dr. Cubbage more than met my expectations. He's first of all, very easy to talk to. He tells you up front, he's very conservative. I trusted Dr. Cubbage with my entire body, which was kind of scary because everybody I spoke to that um, I was told that I was recommended to have um, back surgery were just very concerned, you know, because that's your back where your spinal cord is. So, um, I just came back to Dr. Cabbage and felt totally like I was in his care, and I trust him. I would strongly recommend Dr. Cabbage as well as Dr. Cabbage's staff and also the hospital. 
on a scale of one to 10, it would be a 10 plus.